So generation zero's newest update is finally here. The tactical response update, which added the procedural missions, anomalous signal, repair station removal, and Phoenix outpost sabotage. All of these are basically just you get a location at some point when the mission spawns and you just go there, kill a bunch of machines, and then do something else while you're there. That's about it. Now that's fine. Procedural missions and games are and like open world games like this are rarely that much to talk about. The issue I wanted to touch on with this video was more the fact that this is about all this update really has. The only other thing it does is it adds some voiceover to an early game mission and they released a tactical web they released a uh, tactical equipment pack 2 the DLC thing which I bet it sounds like the DLC is great from the people I've talked to who have it, but I didn't get it myself, so I can't speak to that. It might be good, it might not be, I don't know. But the rest of this update is just quality of life and bug fixes. And I feel like that is a bit of a problem. So let me be clear. I don't think that Generation Zero is like, I don't think the devs are abandoning it right now. I think... When development does end, I think they're going to at least try to do one final substantial update to like tie it off and give the game a proper ending. But this is concerningly small given how long it took since the last update. The last update was the buff of the new experimentals, which was a while ago at this point. So... I'm not saying that I think the devs are abandoning the game. Right now, I'm saying I think development is winding down, and I think it might the end might come sooner than we thought. I hope I'm wrong about that, and I have had faith in devs in the past, and I have been right about it, but I don't know how much longer to really expect this game to keep going. And I know there are people who feel the same way. There are people who have felt this way for way longer than I have. <laughs> And like I said, I don't think it's like, I think probably Generation Zero's got at least this year left in it in terms of development. And then obviously it's got a pretty active player base. So it's not like the game will go away after that. But I think we are starting to see the signs that it's getting less and less attention from the devs. And I hope that changes because it's a really good game and I think there's still a lot of potential left in it. But that's the sense I get from this update. Now, the part of the reason why I think the devs are still interested in continuing the game at least for a little while longer is because they just put out a new player survey which openly asked about interest in more story expansions and more stuff like that. So I don't think the devs, I don't think all of the devs want to be done with this game. At least I don't think the survey would have been worded the way it was if they were. It sounds like they're trying to gauge interest in something like that, figure out how much more they can get out of the game with this survey. And if you are a Generation Zero player, I highly recommend you take it. They posted it in their Discord and on the Steam page. Please do give them their feedback because we saw from the experimental weapons, they clearly do actually listen to feedback. So I think the devs do have more interest in this game and I hope they continue it. I think it looks like they probably will, but this update was not very substantial. It did not have much in it. And I hope the next update will have more. In fact, I hope they just stop doing these smaller updates and smaller DLCs and just like do a big story DLC, another like Alpine Unrest, Phoenix Rising level one, and make that a more expensive DLC and put that out, focus all their effort on that because that's what I've wanted for a long time now. So hopefully that's where they go with the game because the game really needs something like that. It hasn't had a lot of substantial content for a while now aside from the experimental weapons, but that was so long ago at this point. So, I, yeah, that's about all I really wanted to talk about with this. Also, I should mention, reading the letter they put out from the devs on April 21st, that they said the reason why this update was taking so long is because they changed their development cycle 
to include a lot more quality assurance and testing, which is why this particular update did not add nearly as many bugs as the last few have, because it sounds like they were just as tired of that as we were. <laughs> so that's a good thing. I want to make I want to make it clear that is a very good thing. They should keep doing that. They should test their game more before they put stuff out. That's a good thing to be doing. But I still want to reiterate that this is they need to be doing more if the game is going to continue growing because the last few updates we haven't had anything super major for a while now because yeah the experimental weapons were a pretty big change but that only affected certain players who were already way up that affected me as a late game player but that doesn't that still didn't affect the game for a very long time i still had uh, gone through most of all that new stuff pretty fast so i think the game needs a big update in order to get a lot of later game players like me and like a lot of the other people i play with back because the sense i get overwhelmingly from everyone i talk to about this game who is as late in it as i am or has even more hours in it than i do is they just played it out they did all the content it had to offer and that's why they quit and so i think the game needs to have an addition of something new and big to bring those people back because they've used up everything else that was there and to be clear that's good that it took them as long as they did because a lot of them have even more hours than i do and so the fact that it, this game gave them that much content was already good but i think it needs to if it wants to bring back people like that, it needs something big to really drum up interest again, to really get people playing it again. And I'm hoping the devs will do that. And like I said, I get the sense that they are interested in doing that, both from the survey and from their other letters. I just hope they get the response they need to tell them, yes, we should do this, which is why I'm encouraging people, if you haven't, to go and... Uh, fill out that survey and tell them like you're interested in bigger content and stuff like that because they ask about that and they say like do you want more story expansions and stuff like that and so this is a perfect chance to make it known that that's what people want so people should take that chance because clearly they listened to us about the experimental weapons a few months ago so why wouldn't they listen to us again so that's just my thoughts on the tactical response update and everything it added and where I think Generation Zero is going in the future. So I'm curious to see what other people will think. If you have any other thoughts or if I got any information wrong in this video, feel free to say in the comments below. I do read my comments, unlike a lot of people, so I am interested in hearing what other people think about this because that's just my sense and my read of a lot of the situations, but I'm curious what other people think because I haven't seen a lot of people saying they think that the devs are still interested in pursuing the game so i'm curious if other people got the same vibe that i did from the survey and from their letters and stuff like that so yeah uh feel free to talk in the comments obviously do the youtube stuff like and subscribe if you want to see more content i'm planning to do more videos on generation zero in the future because i still like the game a lot and also those were the videos that actually did better those are clearly what people are actually coming to my channel for so i'm probably going to do more videos in the future on this topic and also if you watched my experimental weapons videos you might have noticed i'm talking on a better mic now i finally got a better mic i was using my headset mic before so i actually have something better it's not perfect but it's not like high youtube grade quality it's just a better mic for actual recording that i got off amazon so yeah let me know what you think i'm very curious to hear what other people have to say about this update.